All right, I was going to do this like a radio TV phono nut video and talk about the Chinese and rant about everything, but I don't think I can do that. So we'll just leave that to the master. What we've got today is an old GE amplifier. This came out of my father-in-law's, late father-in-law's backyard, and uh, it sat out there for a long time, along with a lot of other crap. We're going to take it and see if we can get it to run and maybe fix it up a little bit. Here it is up on the bench, and as you can tell, it has been sitting outside for a long time. It is just terrible. I believe it's just an amplifier. We've got tone and pull-on loudness. General Electric. The grill cloth, unfortunately, is damaged in a few spots. There's the on light, but it's had it. So let's turn it around and take a look. Oh, oh, gross. There's the back panel. Let's see if there's any pertinent information left on it. Yep, we got a little bit. But that is garbage. Maybe we can pull that label off and or recreate it. Here's the inside. Amplifier and a big empty box. I guess they, you could get a two-speaker variation. Uh, I guess maybe it had two speakers originally. The wires are cut up there, but it's only a single speaker now. Input jack, power cable. It's gross. All right, first things first, let's get the chassis out and see what we're looking at. Since I'm not as coordinated as some of the guys here on YouTube, I'm just gonna have to show you. We got a couple of screws there, two down there, one way back up in there, the knob, and hopefully it will come out. So let me get that out and I'll get back to you as soon as I got it out. Let's see what happens. Plug looked to be in good shape. Let's turn it on. It's set to zero volts. Let's see if we can get some good old-fashioned squealing out of this thing. All right. I believe the turn on is this. One of these. There it is. Supposedly it's on. Let's set it up to 30 volts. Now the light comes on a little bit. That's good. Pretty boring so far. Yeah, no dim bulb here. I know, I know. Let's go up to, let's go up to 60 volt. That lit it up. I think that's the tone control, this is the volume. So we're at full volume. The light bulb's lighting up. Yeah, the tubes are lighting up. Mm, nothing going on here yet, really. No noise yet. I hot-wired the speaker. I that should be correct. Let's take it up to 75. Those are, that's stone cold. Well, well, well. Is this thing actually going to work? That sounds pretty good. Let's see, climb control's working. But no squeal at all. This capacitor's good. Huh? Turn it up a little more. Take it to hundred. Nothing. Stone cold dead. I mean, cool. I think we're in pretty good shape. We'll let that sizzle and fizzle for a minute, and then I'll come back. We'll kick it up all the way, and then I'll uh, hook something into it. Let's see if we can get it to play. All right. As I say every time I start the camera, since I fix 8-track players, I got an 8-track player. Got it plugged in. This got a little warm. I'm still at 100. It feels a little warm, just a little bit. There goes the speaker. When it's plugged into something, it sure does buzz in. Oh, heck yeah. Let's see what happens if I put in a tape. I think it's just a bad connection. Wow. That sounds 
pretty good. We gotta keep going. Obviously no bass with a no speaker. But Plenty of volume on this little amp. And this is just a little warm. I don't even know if I should replace it or not. Everyone's going to tell me to replace it, but if it's still good, why bother? I'll put an ESR meter on it and see what happens, but I think it's fine. Let's crank it up all the way to one, 120, though. Let's see if it's going to blow. Huh? Feels about the same. At least it doesn't feel like it's in imminent meltdown mode. All right. Well, I think this is basically done. I'm not going to clean the metal up and all that. Who cares about that? Uh, clean off all the crud on it and uh, make sure we got good contacts, but the darn thing works. Meeting smile after smile. I'll just have to get that speaker. It's got a couple of small holes and get another speaker to double it up. You hear Looks like this is going to be case repair. Okay, we're going to do this Shango style, including having the ESR meter in the box. It's a three-part. Let's see here. This is kind of tricky to do. That one's good. Good. Finally. Let's see if I can get it down in there. Bam. That capacitor is perfectly fine after, year, what, 1959, 65 years? Plus sitting out in the rain and who knows what for as long as it did. Amazing.